Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is a channel for Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please remember these messages are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link. will take you to my booking site. You can also um, join my channel. There is a membership. Um, go over and check that out in my tab here on my channel. And I have merchandise as well if you are interested. Okay, you guys. Virgos, how's it going? Happy holidays! Woohoo! Um, so, you guys, what is the drama? Two cards flipped out. Codependency and romantic feelings. So, someone is stuck on you. Um, might be addicted to you. Um, someone, I feel, is uh, kind of having that nice dopamine hit, maybe. They're feeling that dopamine hit. Addictions are affecting the romantic life. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. An attraction. So, hmm, Virgo. <laughs> Ooh la la. You've got something going on here where somebody's like, they can't live without you. Um, this could be a past person. This could be a new person. Uh, someone that you could possibly be meeting. But there is an energy here of um, someone being tremendously attracted to you, Virgo. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, intellectually. Um, codependency here just means that, yeah, it just kind of feels like it's like you're all they think about. <laughs> addicted to you i just heard that song addicted to love that's an old one <laughs> that's a real old song all right let me see what are the messages here okay here we go oh okay someone is giving you the silent treatment right now okay or someone's giving the silent treatment in general somebody cut something off and has gone into extreme silence here so we have virgo energy uh so there's definitely a, a, a sense of someone's feeling uncertain. There's some kind of change. There may be a lack of consistency. Um, somebody is doing, there could be, uh, it feels like a silent treatment, you know, because the Five of Swords energy is always someone, it's always something about abusive relationships. And then the Hermit is like withdrawing. Okay, generally the hermit is withdrawing to seek clarity, okay, going within to seek clarity or a quest for personal truth. Um, but I feel like either there's a silent treatment happening here or there's ghosting or it's like it's done intentionally, right? There could be somebody that's cut off another person to intentionally go in and seek um their clarity, but not really saying something to another person. Like, for example, instead of saying, hey, I need some time to myself, I, I just got to sort some things out. This is more like somebody just did the complete cutoff block kind of energy. Okay. Um, now, it could be taking a look at addictions or codependency, sorting out whether or not there's romantic feelings here, exploring these feelings exploring why someone is so attracted to another person what is that what is that why is this person the only person that another person can think about okay that kind of energy it's like why why can't someone get another person off their mind all right let me see okay so we've got the sun leo energy okay hmm so I do feel like someone's going to come out of hiding, come out into the public or make some kind of an offer or send a gift. Somebody might be receiving a gift, uh, something through the mail or a purchase, could be um, a letter, but it feels like a token. So mm, 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 give me a second here. Okay. I just saw a turquoise blanket, a turquoise blanket. Let's see what else is going on here. Um, there also be there may be information. Somebody's giving someone a positive 
pregnancy test. Okay. Um, I just heard that. Or someone's giving one or getting one. Let me see. Hmm. There might be information about a child, uh, where to put a child in school. Something like that could be coming up. But I'm also feeling... I feel like somebody... Uh, okay, Virgo. There's... Somebody might tell you or offer an engagement ring. Um, I feel like somebody's been secretly thinking about a partnership or a committed relationship or even a marriage. Whomever you might be uh, connected to or speaking with at this time. Right now, I'm not. I'm, I have to be. I have to keep it real here. I, at this point, I'm not seeing a past relationship. If it shows up, then it shows up. But. I don't know exactly who this person is. We do have Pisces. There is Cancer, Virgo, Leo. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, there's definitely some communication coming out. Okay, now we have the Queen of Cups. So feminine or masculine energy, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Okay, somebody may be getting news that somebody like i said there's a positive pregnancy test it could be coming from a female it could be coming from a male um, it could be about the person you're connected with or whoever they're connected with um, for others there is this communication coming through where someone's going to come and give you clarity about how they feel as it evolves for them okay i feel like there's a good kind gesture offer coming in with the knight of pentacles where um, it's like this person's been putting in a lot of hard work and effort to try to figure things out and deal with some uh, issues that they have going on. Yeah, and there's even communication again here. There's definitely something about a child or children, okay? Um, for some, it could be child support. So somebody's either giving it or receiving it. Um, or there's a something that's going through you get something in the mail about that for some of you you're, you're definitely going to be getting that or you maybe um, it feels like good news for you okay or for your person but there's communication here there's an apology for some conflict is what I see here some game playing there might have been some game playing so somebody's going to reach out and apologize to you if they gave you the impression they were playing games or if they were playing games with you if they've put obstacles in between the relationship or um i just feel like sorry for all the trouble is what i'm hearing sorry for all the trouble Okay, let's see what else is going on. Okay. All right. All right, for some of you, this person, I'm telling you, there's so, I just keep picking up these like mother parental, um, mother or parental vibes or um, somebody wants to be, wants to have a child with you um, or it's like a wish come true. Um, And if it's not that for you, there is an, there is an element here of like you coming through as someone that they um, just dream about, like you're everything for them. I know it sounds so cliche to say, but when the Empress energy, there's Libra energy here. When the Empress energy is here, this just gives me a, a sense of like creating something new together, being abundant, something about somebody thinks you're a very good parent or that you could be a very good parent in the future, um, even if it's like a blended family or creating um, from birth. All right, positive news, that's what I'm feeling. Wh whatever somebody was holding back in the past, whatever they were hesitant about, um, they know now that they need to, um, I guess I wanna say reach out. Um, there's a lot of communication coming your way. Cupid's arrows. I feel like somebody was really hesitant 
in the past to let their guard down or to communicate with you or tell you the truth. Um, I feel mostly this person truly didn't know how they felt about things, okay? Um, if somebody's giving you the silent treatment um, and you've tried to talk to that person, silent treatment is like a sense of stonewalling and that's abandonment. And, you know, if, if that's something that you're doing to somebody, Virgo, I mean, I think it's okay to say to somebody, listen, I just need to be on my own or... Um, you know, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. And then you're giving somebody actual, like you're standing up for yourself and in integrity, despite what other people do. Um, and, th and that works both ways. But I feel like if somebody was abusive and giving this silent treatment, but they were going into to clear energy out, that doesn't take away the feelings of leaving you out in the cold, right? And if you're feeling that way, it's really important that that be addressed. I do feel like this person who left you out in the cold um, is a little hesitant to reach out because they're fearful um, that you might reject them, okay? Um, even if you recently met them and they were going through something, um, they may, oh, and I just heard, they may have been with somebody else who they are going cold with okay because they've met you and they want to have something with you but i feel like this person might leave one relationship like on a thursday and then get into another relationship on a friday with the same intensity and that's what i feel like the codependency issue is and i feel like this person has romantic feelings towards you um very strong attraction to you but i also feel like there's an energy where they're taking a look at perhaps their behavior in their past relationships as well and so they're hesitant to this person wants to just really like shower you with affection and love here a lot but they're they're like oh i better not do that because it might scare virgo off even if this is someone from your past which i'm telling you i'm not really seeing that yet but okay queen of pentacles Okay, Virgo, some of you are waiting to hear back from this person. Um, you may have reached out to them or you messaged them or text them or something and either they didn't get it or they have you blocked or um, they're... Or they told you they would get back to you later and they haven't. Some of you keep checking your phone or your computer to see if there was a message. Um, some of you have not received anything just yet. So I kind of get a sense that... Um, I feel like you're waiting to hear from them, but this person's also waiting to hear from you. So there may be an apology coming to you in December about the conflict or the drama or problems. Um, and I feel like a lot of you will get the message. You'll see it, you know, here on like your laptop or your computer or phone or whatever. Um, but I feel like you're kind of just going to sit on it for a little bit um, so you can figure out like what you should put out there, what you should say, what you want to say, how you want to approach a situation here. But you're definitely going to be getting communication. And I do feel like if it's not an apology, it's just a sweet message, um, something like I miss you. I hope things are well. How have you been? What's going on? How are your children? How is the baby? Um, how's family? That kind of stuff, you know, like a, a, a sense, like a sincere message. It's sweet. It's loving, um, but it's not in depth, okay? Because Page of Cups energy is always kind of like, it's like ice cream, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't last that long, but it's very sweet. Okay. So, okay. That's interesting. Somebody here is really focused and distracted on their work and um, pushing people away because of that, okay? Because they're just very focused on what they're doing and they don't, they can't be distracted because they have a lot of work to do and it's like day in and day out, one after the other, trying to be more consistent in their work life or in, you know, just life in general. Um, I feel like somebody's creating something for you as well. You may be getting like a homemade gift or something somebody's writing or drawing or like creating um, or making with their hands for you and they're blocking you from seeing this. They're not letting you know what it is that they're creating. 
I do feel like their intention is very good to bring this gift to you or send it to you, um, either through the mail or uh, have it delivered to your home. So I would check your doorstep <laughs> for packages of some sort coming in for the holidays from somebody. Okay, so, okay. I feel like, all right, so we've got somebody here um, is feeling left out in the cold and feeling kind of ill over the whole thing, um, sickness. There might be somebody who's on crutches at this time. <laughs> um, there might be somebody who's homeless as well and they're sleeping in like a shelter. Um, I feel like somebody is really having a, spirit, a spiritual awakening and um, praying a lot to try to get them or help them with a, a difficult situation, maybe a financial situation that they're in at this time. It's Piscean energy again. Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see. Okay, yeah, somebody, oh gosh. Somebody's ill. Somebody is ill here. And they're really, they might be on, like in hospital or in recovery at this point like recovery from could have been a situation like a near-death experience so or somebody's having an epiphany or a near-death experience or they are uh somebody is like looking at their life and 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 just it feels like a it feels you know all right i'm just well it's holidays so i'm gonna say this it feels like the Scrooge, a Christmas Carol, where the Grim Reaper comes to Scrooge and shows Scrooge um, his life um, without all the love and all the, the great things in that could be or could have happened and what it looks like after, you know? And um, I'm picking up like a really strong Tiny Tim vibe here. <laughs> I feel like somebody's having an epiphany, truly, with the hanged man. You know, like the Grim Reaper comes like to Scrooge when he's sleeping, you know, and I feel like this person's like, oh my gosh, um, really thinking heavily, like there is this sense of like, you are everything to this person and their life without you looks bleak and dull. And um, I feel like this person is praying that that doesn't happen. Um, it's weird. I never got a message like this before. I don't know if they're watching a Christmas Carol and it's kind of giving them like a wake up call. Like, okay. <laughs> that is it just, you know what guys, sometimes when it's hard for me to, to articulate what I'm trying to say, it's because I can feel that energy very strongly. And it's like a go. It's like a, yes, this is what's happening right here. I don't know if you're going to be watching that you're having a Christmas or you're having like an epiphany or a wake up call you know, or this person is, but it's kind of like somebody saying to them, you know, if you don't wake up now and see what you've lost, uh, you're going to have like this, this really barren life. <laughs> uh, wow. Somebody might've like cut off a family or abandoned someone or a, a family situation and I feel like somebody's trying to come back in um, looking at maybe addiction issues that they've had or if they had like um, addiction issues with other people could have been like sex addictions or something you know this person's on the verge like it's coming near here I'm not predicting this person's gonna die but I'm saying it's they're coming to this place now in their life where if they don't do something about something here in their life, then that's going to be like, you're gone. That's it. Or they're not going to have the chances that they, they thought that they had. Okay. So it's a real spiritual wake up call. All right. What else are they telling me here? Okay. Seven of Pentacles here. So somebody is definitely in a position of, um, you know, this person doesn't feel spontaneous to me. They do feel like they'll, they're, they're someone who, before they make a decision to take a risk, they contemplate it first. So there is somebody, we have Aquarian energy, that's sitting here uh, contemplating what the best, like, 
if they if they go to the left how that will what the consequences or how that will look if they go to the right how that will look somebody who's also contemplating or thinking about traveling okay um taking a trip let's see here taking a chance really having this new begin new beginning this new adventure especially with you especially as they're having like this major wake-up call this epiphany it feels like an epiphany is coming to them about life and you in their life and really i feel like taking a risk here taking a chance all right this person is they have a lot of plans a lot of ideas okay um so we have the queen of wands energy here so some of you could be connecting with fire energy um aries leo sagittarius um this person's taking a chance they're going to um roll the roll the dice here this person is playing roulette okay they're, they're betting they're thinking they're, they know that you're a sure bet and i feel like this person is like in their mind i don't know if they've calculated all that the odds or what have you um there's definitely communication and i think they're going to tell you that you are worth the risk um because of the wheel of fortune here this is this energy feels to me now let's see i've called pretty much all the signs i think close to it anyway um so this wheel of fortune energy this is like in motion things in motion okay um so i feel like this person is going to they're reaching a turning point right they feel like it's a good lucky bet for them it's like a gamble but they're willing to take this risk here with you um and if that means to reconnect with you again or make some kind of offer to you because i do feel like this person's stuck on you virgo okay or they will feel they will be stuck on you going forward okay if this is somebody new now let me see i'm gonna ask one time if this is a past connection okay well virgo I will tell you that there's it's it's pretty close it very well could be this could be somebody that you're currently connecting with and for others of you if you're not connecting with anybody right now this could be someone from your you know your past now it would be a pretty damn hardcore miracle if this is someone from 20 years ago okay um i wouldn't bet too heavily on that but for some a very small percentage of you percentage of you it could be and then for others of you I feel like whoever this person is, I'm going to tell you that this person sits in a position of, um, they're kind of well known, right? Six of one energy is someone who um, is has recognition, okay, and has a lot of success, okay? This person may travel quite a bit. They they often come out of their comfort zone when having to go places or do things like they don't have any fear they overcome their fears pretty easily i feel like there's going to be travel towards you around the holidays this person may work with wood or um they do some heavy labor okay whoever that might be for you i'm trying to give you um for some of you okay okay for some of you um this person does interior decorating or design um they could be an architect um also and uh, i'm just gather i'm gather i'm just getting somebody who um i don't know if they work with plants or they um they, they plant things they do something with wood i just keep hearing something with wood wood leaves maybe they grow pot or grow marijuana okay that kind of thing or they they like grow it and sell it hmm one more okay definitely somebody in the public eye or is recognized this person has a very healing they might do something with oils as well um maybe incense or some type of oils um and they do something with like physical healing okay 
Um, could it be Reiki? It could be... Um, I, I'm picking up a strong energy of like they water, they have a lot of plants. Uh, this it, it could be this person or it's just or for some of you it's I'm giving you a lot of different descriptions there's there's an energy of like watering a lot of plants somebody might water like they have a lot of plants or they have like a greenhouse or something okay if that's your past person that's your past person if not it could be somebody new who has just I've just described in this way okay so Gemini energy the magician Capricorn anyway the uh, devil energy here all right so <laughs> listen Virgo I'm gonna just point like otherwise this this reading sounds really good and the energy that I'm picking up but I am telling you this person is stuck on you and they are watching you um, they may even be doing a spell on you nothing bad I don't feel like it's um like an evil black magic kind of spell. It, it feels more like they're sending their attentions in some way. For some, it could be a spell. For others, it's like, um, you know, they're telling the universe, like, you know, they're watching you. <laughs> I feel like they're watching you and very obsessed with you, whoever this person is. They're watching you somehow or they're talking to other people about you. Um, I feel like this person wants to be physically intimate with you here very much strongly i don't know if they keep they look at your pictures or they keep looking at your pictures somehow um or they see you somewhere or they see you um when they're out or other people are showing them pictures or something along those lines you know that magician energy here it's like you know they're very focused on you really they want to like the things that they think or they see in their mind they want to turn into reality here they're very inspired to try to bring something here with you. I feel like you've got somebody here that just does not want to let you go, Virgo. Okay? Or will not be letting you go going forward. And if you start talking to this person coming up throughout, you know, this time period into January, um, they may wind up disappearing on you for a little bit and then coming back in. Okay? Okay. And then something gets started here, but they're, they're hesitant because they have this thing where they like they get their claws in and then they just don't let go. They, they come on very strongly, come on really quick, and they just like swallow you up. This is the energy of this person. But I also feel like they're trying to be careful not to scare you away. They may come on very strongly and then disappear because they feel like there's, there's an energy of anxiety with this person. Okay, moving to a safe place. Um, so I do feel like this person is trying to be in a position of like not to scare you off. Okay. Um, and then this is a strange message here, Virgo. That thing that you've been sweating over recently, um, it's coming to an end. You'll be in a good place because whatever verdict comes in, it's delivered in favor of you and the truth will be, will prevail. So I feel like you need to know that. And I don't know if that's connected to this reading or something else in your life, um, but there's a fear and there's a worry. Maybe you're going through the courts with something or you have something that's going on and you don't know how it's going to turn out or end. And justice is here to tell you it, that it's the truth will come out. Okay, it's a win-win solution for you. Okay, the cause and effect is in place. Whatever somebody did to cause a disturbance or something that was not right, the effect is going to come back to that person. So generally, it's just karma. Whatever bad karma was delivered, it's going to be returned the same. Whatever good was delivered, it will be returned the same. I feel like that that's a separate message, but maybe it's connected okay struggle challenge competition okay again there is conflict here but i feel like somebody who is at the root of the conflict or is connected to the conflict is coming in to make amends for if they started some trouble or if they caused any struggles within the connection um if they made you compete in some way Okay, see, arguments and separations. So something must have happened. Some kind of struggle that caused arguments and separations. I feel like whatever that was, that was based on somebody else that was initiating that. 
and it's going to work out in your favor. Like you're going to get justice will be served in favor of you. Okay. And for some of you, this might've been about moving out or relocating, or it's with this person. If they had somebody they were connected with that um, was giving them a hard time and they had to move away from that, pe that person and they cut them off and had to move away from that person. I feel like, um, they're going to get, um, everything's going to work out for them. Okay. So you've got good friends here, victory, recognition, and applause. So you've got people on your side, Virgo, for sure. Some very good friends that support you. Okay. Um, they recognize what you're going through and I feel like they're here supporting you. They want to help you, whatever you're going through, family, friends, um, whomever they are. You're in the right, Virgo. I just feel like telling you that there's whatever is going on. Spirit is saying, we got your back. You're in the right here. You don't have to worry. Stop over worrying about this. It's going to work out in your favor. Okay, there's a direct honest female connected to you. Um, she's going to bring you out of illusion. Okay, so that would be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, she's going to provide enough light for you to see ahead. Okay. Um, sh she's going to tell you to be careful and she's just going to tell you to remain still until more information is available. So right at this time, you may feel like you want to do something and you can't do it because you don't have enough facts at this time. In other words, if you have to go into a court thing, um, if you don't come in with enough evidence or facts, it'll just get kicked away. So I feel like she's going to tell you this could be a lawyer, this could be a friend or a sister, or um, it's a female. And she's going to come in and tell you, um, look, here's what here's what's going on. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what we're doing. I don't want you to I don't want you to take action in this way about this particular thing. But I want you to take action. It feels like legal counsel or legal advice for some of you. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but she's going to say if you're in doubt right now, or you're not sure, um, don't do anything. Just wait until you get more information. Okay. Some of you are reevaluating your career. You have a, a wish and a hope that you are um, trying to see to fruition. Okay. Um, and it has to do with career. There's something that you want to do in your life. Um, you're taking a look at your skills and what you've learned thus far and where you've come from and how far you've made it. And you're, some of you are just taking, like, maybe I should do something different or finally getting a hold of what it is you want to do with yourself and your life, your wishes, hopes, and dreams. So I feel like you guys um, are in this position right now where you're like, you know, uh, really taking a look. You know, some of you might work in the medical field and you are changing your career altogether. You're going back to school or you're learning some new things. And some of you are going to go, um, I don't know. Do you want to management, manage a waste company? I don't know. Something completely different. It's like very much in contrast. Um, it may have a little, uh, it may be peppered a little bit with what skills you already have, but some of you might be deciding not to, um, work for anyone anymore and then you're really pushing to be more self to be self-employed um or some of you have decided that self-employment isn't going to work or there's something's not going uh in my favor and some of you might decide to join a corporate uh, position take corporate position or join another company or go into partnership with someone if you've been solo for a long so there's a lot of reevaluation of your career at this time and it's about what you really want to do, what your wishes and hopes. Some of you have been, you know, sitting behind a desk for a long time and now you're deciding that you want to be an actress or an actor. Okay. I mean, is that politically correct? I don't even know. Uh, whatever. Um, some of you are, I feel like there's some kind of a risk being taken here. Oh, they're also saying you're getting a message from an admirer. Now this could be this person, it could be somebody else as well. Your, your, oh, your, your taste, your taste, your test, you're being tested. Your faith and your boundaries are being tested once this message comes in. So for some of you, I feel like there's an energy of, um, I don't know who this person is who's sending you, um, 
it could be a secret of mine, but I feel like it's someone who's really interested in you. And some of you might be like, oh, wait a minute, is this a setup or a trap? <laughs> I don't know if some of you are paranoid, but um, some of you may be wanting to ignore this and you're gonna be tested here with this message. Um, it, it's definitely a test. Um, I feel to see where, uh, for you to see where your boundaries are, you're gonna, how you're gonna handle a particular situation with someone, okay? Uh, some of you, I, I just heard when somebody reaches out to you, you tend to lose, you get weak, or you wanna reach back out, or because you miss somebody, or you've got um, an attachment to someone, could be codependency from you, Virgo, where you are not trying to respond to somebody in a codependent way, but in coming from source, coming from a place of, um, from your core, do you know what I mean? So a lot of you um, have been making changes in your lives and, you know, Virgo, they always come back. People always return, okay? Um, it's not up to them to return or not to return. It's up to you to have your boundaries to make a decision. If you're going through something and there's someone you, should, you don't want to be talking to anymore, this is a test for you, not for them. Okay, some of you are making your home more secure by having no contact with another person. Um, securing your home, your children, your family. Um, some of you are going to be needing to put more locks on those doors and maybe a camera out front um, if you make a decision to go no contact because there are some of you here who were in dealing with someone that maybe was abusive or there was an issue with them okay so i'm not sure if this is like a predictive message here for you but uh, you may need to secure your home a bit more if you make a decision to ha stay in no contact and not re reply to this person okay so that's a special message for some of you let's see okay so some somebody's waiting for an answer here okay all right, somebody's laying all their cards on the table at this time. I feel like I said that over here. Yeah, somebody's putting everything out, laying all their cards on the table, okay? Not being fearful, using every tool in their arsenal to create and manifest some type of new journey, um, and then waiting to see what comes back after that, you know? It's kind of like you got a buffet here and you're putting everything out on the table and waiting to see who comes to your table. It's that old movie, that baseball movie. If you build it, they will come. I feel like some of you um, may just be waiting for an answer so that you know when it's time to go. So when you, so that you know you're waiting to hear back from somebody so that you know when it's time to begin manifesting this journey that you're you know, on here. And you've got somebody else here who's putting their cards on the table and waiting to hear back from you. Now, some of you might decide to do no contact with this person. Others might just kind of like slow it down a little bit before responding, but you definitely have somebody who's waiting to hear something from you. All right, and there's also a fi big financial decision being made. Okay, spying online, so we saw that too. Um, hmm. Somebody's trying to get information on somebody's credit report, background, or financial information, okay? I don't know if that's legal or illegal for you. It really just depends, but I feel like somebody's doing a search online <laughs> or is doing a background check. Could be you doing it on another person. Um, this is being done because there's a big financial decision that needs to be made. So it could be um, a corporation doing a credit check on you to make a decision about offering you a loan um, or vice versa. So if you see like a hard inquiry on your credit coming up in December, it's because somebody's doing a search on you. It doesn't have to be a person, like a lover, personal. It could just be like a company future plans choosing a path so for some of you i feel like you're trying to get a loan um, you're taking a risk here maybe trying to get a loan start your life over buy a home buy a new car relocate um, i feel like a lot of you are making plans but you're standing at a crossroad and trying to figure out which is the best path you're being advised here that whatever you choose go for it take a risk okay they're not telling me here what path you need to choose they're just saying that when you get to that position where you feel like okay i think i'm gonna do it jump 
don't overthink it. Spread your wings and just go. Okay, so let's see what other messages there are here for you. I want to take a look at... I pick up my cards. The messages of love. Okay, let's take a look here, Virgo. The messages of love. Okay, someone's in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, Virgo. And this is a twin flame connection. Okay, so for some of you, it could be meeting your twin flame. Things start taking off, but it's real. There's a lot of hesitation. For others, this is somebody, perhaps, that you were connected with before that you feel is a twin flame um, connection here. So that's just confirmation of that. Um, also, go slow. Take time to get to know each other, Virgo. Financial challenges are affecting this connection as well. Oh my gosh, you could have somebody that you meet and they're like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run a background check on you. I'm going to check your finances and see if you're legit. Like, I'm going to run a credit check on you. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, but I think, like, if that's their initial approach, I'd be like, get away. Where's the garlic? Here's the cross. Get away. Okay, this relationship is moving towards a sacred union or marriage. So, Virgo, marriage is definitely in your, in your future here with somebody. Okay, so don't sweat it if you worry about that. And if it's not marriage, it's just a sacred union. It's, you know, finding your other half, of course, meeting your other half. You can be completely open with somebody at this time. You can be vulnerable with somebody, Virgo. True love. You've got true love coming in here. Okay, or this person, whomever you were connected with before, um, if there was a cutoff and this person is trying to come back, um, you know, it is a true love thing, but people are human and people make mistakes and they do stupid things and it's just the way life is. It doesn't mean that it's written in the stars that you have to take anybody back, but I do feel like, yeah, you just have to have a lot of information first before you make any decisions in your life here, Virgo. All right. Let's take a look here and see what your other messages are, dates, times, that kind of thing. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe on the video, you guys. I greatly appreciate that. Okay. So, somebody's born in June, and if it's somebody's ex is born in June. Okay. Okay. Um, getting the initials a J and an O. J O. Okay. Um, they just gave me somebody who's born August 6th. Somebody's also born in 1968. Um, hmm. All right. Somebody works in. A building where there's like three buildings they're all the same size and they're all connected or they're right next to each other I just saw that okay okay so I do feel like somebody's got like um, a white vase with blue flowers um, and like some leaves, some a, some plant or plant or something growing out of that. Um, it sits on like a table or a desk of some sort. Also, somebody's working with um. Oh, what the heck is that thing called? I felt. Remember, I was seeing some woodwork. Oh, a vice grip. I'm seeing like a grip, like a vice grip. Okay. Um. um there's an old lady with a cat as well. I'm picking up, oh, initial is S. Somebody's born in 1985, but I'm seeing like an, an elderly lady. She has on like these slipper sandals. And the cat is like white, black, and brown, or tan, white, black, and tan. Okay. Um, old lady sitting on like a stone bench maybe the church or something and she has like a a shawl around her head you know like a scarf around her head um 
could be watching over you. Could be like in an angel sense, she's watching over you. Oh, stuff falling out here. Oh boy. Um, all right, I'm totally just seeing, I just saw, an, there's an image of um, the sacred heart. Secret, I was hearing sacred heart, maybe sacred heart of Jesus, sacred heart, um, definitely. Um, she's okay. Some, all right, I heard the name Kent, K E N T, Kent, and Raquel. I'm hearing Raquel. Okay. Okay, and then I just heard the phrase, do not pass, go, do not collect 200. So maybe somebody's playing Monopoly. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then we're just, um, they're giving me a unicorn. And... Somebody's wearing yellow at this time. Yellow, yellow, yellow clothing. Or there's yellow clothing somewhere. Um, so, nineteen eighty-seven. Somebody's born in nineteen eighty-seven. And okay, somebody likes to bake, or is making pies, or will be making pies. Um, cherry pies specifically. I'm hearing cherry pies. I was going to be eating one or making, it feels mostly like making cherry pies, maybe with somebody. Um, okay, HP, HP. Oh, uh, maybe somebody's using a printer right now or there's a, they're sitting next to a printer. You have a printer, Hewlett Packard could be, or those are initials, HP. I'm just seeing HP, like a printer. And somebody might be eating, um, oh, somebody's eating an apple or a piece of fruit or having a fruit smoothie. Okay, I'm going to get one more and then we're going to try the charms. Okay. Oh, we're going to get a couple more, they said. All right, they're not giving me much in the way of dates. Um, okay. Okay, 874. I'm getting the, the numbers 874. And I'm getting 687. Okay. Seven one six or six one seven. Uh, and four one four. Okay. <laughs> four one four. Wait a minute. No, they're like, oh, they do not want me to stop. They do not, okay, Meg, Megan, they're saying Meg, Megan. Okay, somebody 25, 25th, the 25th. Oh, Christmas Day is going to be very important. December 25th, especially important for someone with the name Meg or Megan. Um, there's a huge risk gamble being taken on the 25th. Huge. Somebody might be getting like a roulette wheel for, or you're getting tickets to the casino or something, or there's travel or something like that. Okay, I'm going to leave those there. That was crazy. Let me just go right over. I'm just going to pull the, the charms here and move these out of the way. Okay, 
Well, we're going to start off. Somebody's got a heart tattoo or is doodling or drawing a heart. Just one line heart and like it's see-through. It could be also a necklace somebody either has or is receiving, you know, or um, a heart-shaped ring. How beautiful. Heart-shaped ring. Okay. Oh, and if you guys, listen, these charms are meant to just really qualify your reading or to let you know this reading is definitely for you. Um, but I'm also feeling like if you see a feather somewhere, um, you definitely have an angel watching over you. Also, there may be like a, a place with the name feather in it. They just gave me that. Feathers. Or a place with the name feathers or something, or feather, or something to do with feathers. Okay, so we have a starfish. Um... Okay, I, I know you're going to think I'm really ridiculous for saying this, and it, I'm hoping that this one came from, I don't know if it came from me or if it came from um, Spirit, but they're giving me the name Patrick. <laughs> like, you know, Pat, maybe that came from me, but I, I just I just got Patrick Star. I mean, come on. I mean, if Spirit knows about SpongeBob, I mean, hey, that's awesome. But I'm just, I just pick up the name Patrick here. Um, and the last name starts with a B as well okay for some um somebody calls somebody honey there's also um somebody's got a really deep fear of spiders or somebody's going to see spider-man the the movie coming is it out already i'm not sure um oh i just heard pink floyd the wall i just saw an image of that pink floyd the wall Something about the wall. Either there's a wall being built or torn down. Okay, there's also um, somebody's exercising or exercises to, um, you can't touch this. A really old 80s, is it late 80s? Uh, what was his name? MC Hammer? Can't touch this kind of thing. All right, they're saying just get one more. Or somebody was listening to that song or they saw a commercial with that song. Can't touch this. Okay, there's perfume. Oh, it's a gift. There's a Christmas gift. Chanel number no. five for somebody. Maybe for a mother or grandmother or a sister or for you. You're buying it or if you're looking for a gift to get someone, um, Spirit's saying somebody loves Chanel number no. five. Also, um, Somebody loves um, pink from Victoria's Secret. Something pink. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get another. Okay. Lucky shamrock. Or no. Yeah, lucky four-leaf clover. Okay, so maybe somebody's Irish or calls themselves like... There's definitely an element of luck happening here. Somebody might find a four-leaf clover. Um by accident or they have one or you get one from someone or give it i'm also hearing shamrock or the name shannon um is shannon i think shannon's an irish name as well shannon or shamrock or someone calls someone my little lucky clover or something it's very sweet um okay you guys so i'm gonna leave your reading there hope you enjoyed that please do hit the membership click the join button if you want to become a member the perks you'll get is that every time i'm on a live stream um, you can just pop in and ask questions and i'll pull cards for you and do mini readings for you, you can ask it's unlimited so however money you want to ask you know you just pop in the chat for however long i'm there and i'll do that many times during the month and you'll just pay one fee for the whole month so i usually charge twenty dollars just to get one card so you know, it's a good deal. Um, so if you guys want to join, I'm going to actually start doing that after the holidays in January. So if you join now, make sure you get in as soon as you can, but you can wait until after January. Personal readings, you guys, um, I will be taking personal readings. This is the last week until December 17th. And then after that, I will be on vacation and I will not be back until, um, 
after New Year. It, I'll be back in January. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's it. Make sure you check out the merchandise below. I don't know if you can purchase anything below from your phone. You may have to be on a computer to make any purchases, but you can go to my spread shop and look and see what I have. All right, you guys. And I think that's all with the announcements. So thank you for everyone for being in the chat. I hope you enjoyed tonight's reading. And um, yeah, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Just keep in mind that because it's the holidays, I'm out shopping. I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to try and get here every single night, but there may be a night or two or something might come up where I'm not able to upload or be here that night. Please sit tight. Just remember these readings are for, you know, the rest of December going into January. So you can always revert back to them or go check the other readings. Okay. All right, you guys love you. I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Bye to my mods as well. Thank you guys. All right. Bye.